easier on you. Number one, it's another step in the wrong direction that is the fran that this franchise has been going down for a long for far too long. This decision is just another example of how Sega quote unquote is going in a new direction or is or quote unquote is trying to appeal to a new generation. To me that's just code for quote unquote well abandoning the strategy that actually works as well as quote unquote well abandoning our loyal fans in favor of new ones who are clearly too inexperienced to question anything so they can be herded like lambs to the slaughter. If you've if you've heard uh, 2G's rant about sequels, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. In fact, almost everywhere I look in the entertainment industry, I see the exact same things going on. These mega corporations that now control the Hollywood entertainment industry complex don't want real fans with real taste who remember who they are, who remember who they are. That does not benefit their interest at all. What they want are a bunch of unthinking automations with no taste, critical thinking, or self-identity. Think about the scene from the film Idiocy, where the, co where the comedy of the year is just a guy's naked rear on the screen farting for 90 minutes on end, and everyone treats it like a good film. And that is not even the worst case scenario. There were times when people fought to the death simply for the amusement of others. With the way reality TV has been going these days, although we're nowhere near the there yet, we've we're heading back in that direction. And believe it or not, the bigger problem is part of an even bigger problem as well. If you have if you have ever seen George Carlin talk about the owners of America, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Companies everywhere just want you to be dumb because of a just want you to be dumb because of a population of intelligent and ed educated individuals capable of critical thinking does not serve their interest. They only want drones who never question anything so long as they keep making money from them. And don't tell me this and don't tell me quote unquote this is capitalism. Capitalism is about the evolution and innovation of products and services throughout incentive driven competition. It's not about getting away with a best with at best mediocre products and services entirely dependent upon a customer base that is entirely in the dark, practically begging to be ripped off. That's not capitalism, that's corruption. As you can see, this decay is just is not just limited to places like the financial services industry or the energy industry or the defense industry, but in the entertainment industry as well. Think about it. Look at what has happened to Disney or Electronic Arts or Capcom or Sega in this case. And we're just supposed to just let this happen? At a time when our economy is suffering enough, we're supposed to allow these franchises we care about die while the job opportunities in the fields that normally would have been neglected and forgotten go with them? I think not. Occupy Hollywood instead. Just think about the damage these companies would do if they were in financial energy production. But just because the not does not make it okay for them to get away with raw greed. And the worst part of this is how it's just shoving aside people who are real innovators, who do work hard, who actually deserve to be successful, but instead of allowing the world to benefit from these powerful minds who actually know what they're doing, they're just showed aside, or they're just they're just shoved aside in favor of the flavor of the month, who had a free ride because they were propped up by the corporate masters who were ex who were who are actively trying to drive down the intelligence of the masses in order to widen the product books up to widen the pocket books I'm sh I should say it's not fair it just makes me sad it even sometimes makes me feel ill and it just never works in the long run that is my real motivation for all this the simple truth 
that a mind is a terrible thing to waste, and for it the world does not know what it is missing. As for Sonic's world, we may lose yet another reminder of a time when the people running his universe actually cared about more than just money, and actually knew what they were doing. We may now have a mockery of that reminder instead, quote unquote, to appeal build to a newer generation. I bet that my childhood hero is spinning in his grave. So those are my 11 reasons. And don't even think about comparing this to when people were losing it over Sonic's green eyes. That change was more gradual and still looks mostly the same. Mostly. Unlike this design change that just happens because, because it could. As a result of a hack job. Sonic's eyes were not ripped out and not replaced with ones with green irises. It happened gradually and on its own. Also, Sally's design changed little by little based upon the slightly different style of the different artists and nothing else. No big deal there, but this is not the case in this situation. Okay, well that is LTH's 11 reasons. And if you know who LTH is, you know, give your own thoughts on it. And I'm sorry this was in multiple parts, but it was a long one, believe me. But let me know what you guys think about this, and I'll talk to you all later. And basically, if you agree with him or not.